Hey everybody, Justin with VMP Performance. I've got our supercharged 2024 Mustang right behind me, already strapped down to the dyno. This is not a standard stage one or stage two kit. It has some extra goodies. This is our stage three VMP Gen 6 supercharger kit. Stage three includes a smaller pulley, a fuel pump booster, and a carbon fiber intake tube because, well, nobody can ever leave well enough alone and stage one and two just isn't enough. I'm gonna run it on the dyno and show you what it makes. We made 807 rear wheel horsepower, 647 rear wheel torque. This car does have long tube headers now, so it's making an extra 10 to 15 horsepower from those headers. I'll tell you something else we're doing. The fuel pump booster allows us to run E30 fuel. As you pull E down, you really need more octane than what 93 can provide. E30 is a quick and easy way to get that. Um, it's a little bit better than boostane uh, because of the way ethanol works. So I'm super happy with the numbers. I also want to show you some testing we did yesterday. We ran it with the stage two kit, so the 375 pulley, and we had E30 in the tank, and we still made 778 and 600 foot-pounds of torque. You saw the big increase both in peak and area under the curve because the supercharger is still in its efficiency range. It went from about 13 pounds to 14 pounds, and the three liter Gen 6 rotors that Whipple has just perform awesome um, in that boost range. So a lot of area under the curve, I also want to show you 93. These are actually the graphs from our 93 test video, and you can see the car made 743, 744. One was cleaner than another because the boosting cleaned up the spark curve, but there is a, uh, a definite delineation there where we start out with a stage two kit, 375 pulley, making mid 700s, and then we add octane, allows for more timing, a little more power at high RPM. We add E30 mix, which is a couple gallons of E85 pumped into a tank full of 93. And then we pull it down for the stage three kit and we see the big gains there. I also want to say that these are summertime conditions, absolute worst possible conditions. About 30.14 inches of mercury, humidity 50%, STD correction factor, adding in 3% to make up for the poor conditions. I also can show you the numbers in the SAE correction factor because some people use that. They're going to be a little bit lower. We see a SAE number of 789 rear wheel horsepower, 633 rear wheel torque. So this stage three kit is really performing awesome. When you buy this kit from VMP, it's actually gonna come with two pulleys, a 3.75 and then a 3.625. That way you get some options as far as if you don't wanna run boosting or E30 all the time, I do recommend pulling up. Don't try to push it without good fuel. It's still very early in modding these cars. This is our first shot with the stage three kit. Things could change as more parts and tuning becomes available. Keep your eye out, make sure you like, subscribe and share. I'll see you next time.